ladies and gentlemen, as requested, here's the list of the best healer Twinkins that you can use during Season 1 of The War Within, both in Mythic Plus and The Raid. Before we get going, please consider supporting the channel. There's links in the description for YouTube memberships and a Patreon page with some extra perks. And now, without further ado, let's dive in. Alright, there's two trinkets that both drop from dungeons and they're gonna be either your best two trinkets or they're gonna be in your top four or five at the worst, no matter what class you're playing and no matter if you're looking for good trinkets for Mythic Plus or Rate. The first one is the Unbound Changing that drops from Mists of Tyrna Sight. This tooltip doesn't say it, but it also gives you a secondary stat and you can control which stat you're getting. The way it works is, if you want to get haste, you can eat the haste food, if you want to get crit, you eat the crit food, and the stat changes. After you do that, you can eat your primary stat food and keep the secondary stats from the trinket that you'd like, making it one of the best trinkets because it is a stat stake and you get to control which stat you're getting. The other good trinket is called Gale of Shadows and it comes from Grim Batal. This one gives you haste and you cannot change that, but every time you do damage or you heal, you get a stack of primary stat and those stacks pile up quite quickly. So this is a very good trinket if you like haste or if you're a melee healer. In fact, I think this is the best performing trinket for Holy Paladin and Fist Weaver. But as I said, even if you're playing a caster healer, those are probably in your top three or four. There's one more top performing dungeon trinket. This is the Empowering Crystal from Dawnbreaker. This one gives you primary stat along with a chance to proc a random secondary stat. If we talk about value, this is as good as the other trinkets. The only problem here is that it's random and you don't know what you're going to be getting. In any case though, this is definitely one of the top performers. The good news is all these three trinkets drop from dungeons, which means you can spam farm them. And if you manage to get two of them, you're basically set no matter what hero you're playing with one single exception that comes from the raid. The raid has one particularly good trinket which gives you mastery, scaling pretty good with classes which are interested in that, primarily Preservation Evoker along with Disc Priest and Resto Druid. It's called Spy Master's Web and it's a little bit tricky to use. You're getting stacks of intellect along with the mastery every 6 seconds, so it takes a little bit of time to build up that primary stat. And then you have on use effect, which consumes all the stacks that you have so far and gives you huge intellect boost. So this trinket is only good if you scale well with mastery and only if you time the on use effect with a very big cooldown that you can have. If you do it correctly, it's a huge win, but again, a little bit tricky to achieve. Another interesting raid trinket is the coagulum. It gives you primary stat and once you use it, it starts absorbing some of the healing that you do to only burst for a bigger amount once it managed to consume certain amount of healing. It also has a damaging component which makes it good both for Mythic Plus and Raid. However, this one is also tricky to use because you have to time it very well to get that burst of healing when you need it and in order to get there, you'll be doing a little bit less healing until you charge the trinket. So overall, you probably get more value from the stat sticks, but this one could also have some very nice usages in uh, situations. And just as an honorable mention, the Mercurial Egg is another raid trinket, which gives you nothing. And it works kind of interestingly, you get stacking primary stat if you stand still, which diminishes once you start moving. And while you're moving, you get stacking secondary stat, which then diminishes once you stand still. So you'll be getting constant value from this, but just moving, getting stats, it's, it's, it's weird. Alright, so those should be your top choices. And if you're wondering why I haven't mentioned the Sag Brood yet, let's talk about the honorable mentions. You've probably heard about the Arakara trinket that everyone was after at the beginning of the season, which gives you haste and then you get primary stat procs, having a damaging component and bad as well. Now this one is good, you can definitely farm it, but it did get some nerfs after the season started. So right now the other trinkets that are mentioned in the beginning of this guide are just better. Now if you happen to get this one during a dungeon run or in your vault and you don't have a better alternative, definitely pick it up. 
as I said, it's not bad, but if you're looking for base gear, you eventually replace it. Let's also mention here the Ritual Knife that you can get from Delves, which means you don't have to run M plus or Rate in order to get this one. It gives you mastery and primary stat, although you have to read the tooltip in order to understand that. And it would be really damn good if there was not a chance to proc a random reduction to one of your secondary stats, which is quite huge, diminishing the overall value that you get from this trinket. At the end, let's also mention shield trinkets. They were quite popular in Dragonflight, but there seems to be no good ones in Season 1 of The War Within. There is one that works exactly the ones in Dragonflight, but you can only get it from Delves. It's not that powerful and it will be problematic to get it at a high item level. So it's not a good alternative for sure, but let's mention a trinket that you can get from Stone Vault. Scrap Singer Symphony is going to apply a shield to an ally, which also does damage to your enemies. But the shield amount is not that huge, the damage is not great and it's also a random ally. So overall it's a decent trinket, but it also goes into the list of trinkets that are easily outperformed by the stat sticks. So that would complete our list and of course there's a lot more trinkets out there that I didn't mention. It doesn't mean that they're bad, but they're probably easily outperformed by something that I mentioned already in this video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss the next one as well. I'll see you guys there. Thank you very much for watching. Now get out of here.